Okay, hello everyone, this is Mr. Rob Bronin here again, and this is the combo guide for Yahaba. And it's gonna be a short one because there's not too much to talk about combo wise with Yahaba. The only really combos you're gonna be getting is off of your special moves, and the combos you get from your special moves is just gonna be special into special into maybe a demon skill if you're feeling a little bit a little bit fancy. And that's about it. You can just do whatever permutations of that you like. End of video. I'll, t I'll talk a little bit more, but if you get regular attacks, you can do a full attack string into some rocks to get a little bit of jet damage and push the opponent away. But what I'd really recommend is just going for a down combo and then using the small chunk of damage and the hard knockdown to stand there and build some meter. Or you can use that time to summon your guard special arrows to go in for some pressure like this. Or to get your cool, you know, Twitter combos, touch of death stuff, whatever with the arrows. Or also, if your opponent isn't doing quick recovering, I also suggest going for a just a, an up combo, even though that does zero damage. But if you land regular arrows, you're not going to get much damage anyways. But if you land an up combo and the opponent doesn't quick recover, you build tons of meter back. You can build about four bars just from that one hit, and it pushes the opponent really far away. So I really, really recommend using that more than people usually do. It, it's a really useful tool if you realize your opponent doesn't quick recover. You build a ton of meter and you build a ton of distance. So, if you land a hit that will actually give you damage, which is basically only your boulder toss, your smackdown, or your tilt demon skill, you will basically be doing the same things, because you're not going to get any damage off of your aerial attack string, you'll just use that for a hard knockdown to build a bunch of meter, and off of your guard special, you're mainly just using that to push the opponent away yet again. Even though it starts a yellow combo, you're literally going to get no damage off of it, no matter how much PD you spend. Even if you cash out literally everything, you'll get 2,000 damage. Not worth it. So, if you lend uh, some rocks, it just depends on how much you want to cash out. If you want to cash out everything off of rocks, the most you can really get is something like this. Just do all of your special moves into a demon skill. It's about half of the opponent's life, it costs you everything. Um, but what I recommend is a little bit more meter savvy is just doing two loops of the rocks into the arrow, into the rocks, into the, your standing demon skill that does 4,000 damage, which is a decent chunk of damage, and you have a little bit of meter afterwards to still use on some your next rocks and special moves and stuff, so you're not completely empty. If you do land a blue combo, you have a bit more time to do some more things, so you can do your rocks into your demon skill, into your standing demon skill. and do something like that, that cashes out for a little bit more, or you can change the order of the attacks to do a little bit more damage, but as you can see there, with the blue combo, you just have more time to do more of your attacks, so you can do a little bit more damage. Um, there are, There is the unlikely scenario that I'm sure you've seen a touch of death with him, is if you get your arrows out and you manage to land your tilt special, you can do stuff like this. which is admittedly a lot of damage and you can change it to do even more damage and throw an ultimate at the end to make it a touch of death. So it can be really, really awesome damage, but it's very, very unlikely to happen that you summon your arrows so that instantly get a smackdown, but if it happens, it happens, I guess. But um, if you do have your arrows, you can throw your rocks and you do have a decent likelihood of landing your rocks into it because that's a more of a normal thing to hit. And even if it doesn't hit, um, even if your rocks don't hit, you get to dash in afterwards so then your arrows keep you safe. So if you do want to try getting some cool combos, if you summon your arrows, throw out some rocks. And then after your rocks, go for a boost combo, and if you are low on meter, that'll rebuild all of your meter. And you can go for a cool combo with a boost in the middle of it, thanks to your arrows. Um, if you're landing a combo off of, you know, literally anything else, it's going to be the exact same loops, it just depends on how much you want to cash out um, on the opponents. Even that simple combo there was 5,000. If you're against an opponent where you think you really need to save some meter to do some things up close to keep throwing projectiles and stuff, maybe don't cash out as much, maybe just do a few rocks into your arrow into some rocks and keep some meter for next time and make sure you're doing regular attacks for the hard knockdown and stuff. Oops, I messed that up. But you get a hard knockdown, you get to build all your meter back. And if you throw an ultimate at the end of anything, or if you want to throw an ultimate, it's the easiest thing in the world because he has a really awesome ultimate activation that works after literally any combo, as long as you have enough time in the combo, he throws this arrow at you super quickly and gets a big juicy chunk of damage at the end of the combo. The most damage he's actually going to get off of his ultimate um, throwing at the end of a combo is just off of his straight rocks, 
that's going to do the 9,000. Oh, actually, it's not going to do 9,000. It's going to do 7,000, which is a big chunk of damage for just projectiles into an ultimate. Um, if you are in boost mode, you do get the bonus of having a little bit of extra damage at the end of your attack string. Which is handy, but you're not really going to want to go for normal attacks when you're in boost mode. You're going to be wanting to go for your regular special moves, because they're going to be doing even more damage now, and you will have just built all of your meter back. And if you have the ability to go into surge mode, then you get all of your meter back again, or you have unlimited meter. And obviously in surge mode, I bet you can guess what his combos are going to look like. Even without throwing an ultimate, this is nearly a touch of death, and against characters like demons or stuff that take more damage, that is going to be a touch of death without an ultimate, so Surge is very, very scary with Yahaba. Um, if we're briefly talking about pressure with Yahaba, the only real unique pressure thing he can do is instead of just throwing a bunch of projectiles into each other, which is a very powerful thing, because this is like a full string, and just that like full consistent string there did break the opponent's guard. It did cost you a lot of stuff, but even just a few rocks over and over again is going to wear down the opponent's guard. And if you throw in a random dash sometimes, your guard is going to break down really quickly. So standing blocking against Yahaba is scary, but if you do want to go for a little bit of a tricky mix-up, you can actually cancel your tilt special into a dash cancel into a grab. Which is very, very unpredictable. It costs a lot of meter, but if you want to keep your opponent on their toes, you do have that option. Anyways, that is about all there is to say about combos with Yahaba. Hope you enjoyed, hope you enjoyed playing Yahaba. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye!